My experience in Beacon has been pretty fun. We get to do a lot of really creative things and I always feel like I'm in a really safe area. Like people are very creative, people are very fun and it's really nice to be in that kind of environment, especially in high school where everything's so like stressful and insane. It kind of laid down all the building blocks for me. It's really how I discovered that I want to be a filmmaker and uh, it's provided me with an opportunity to be around like-minded people and also learn a lot about the craft. School District View 46, each of the five high schools have um, what's called an academy program. It's essentially a school within a school. And um, South Elgin High School is the newest of the five high schools. And um, the academy that the school district decided to create here was um, a broadcasting and communications um, academy. It's a pretty unique experience. Our students um, have the opportunity to um, do internships, uh, to get out in the community and, and work to cover different community events. It's like a different atmosphere because you're doing something that's totally different that you don't like normally do because you're actually using like real equipment, you're using real editing software. Yeah, Beacon definitely gives people the tools they need in order to sort of find out if this is uh, something they want to pursue. Um, I think that, I don't think that Beacon is going to be something where you like fine tune your skills or anything, but I think that Beacon is definitely a, a sort of like on ramp onto this big like media highway sort of and um, yeah I think it's definitely an advantage to have a program like this over people who weren't lucky enough to have a program like this. It's really interesting because now I can kind of see like what I think I might want to do when I'm older but I can see it in high school instead of just taking like an elective class like this is my serious thing this is my like like I, I live for this class every day and I live for it like over summer I'm so excited to get back into the studio so just having this in high school is really awesome because you're not figuring yourself out in college you're figuring yourself out now which is an amazing opportunity. It was something that I looked forward to every day it was kind of like you know English and math were pretty boring but I knew that I was going to go into Beacon soon and then I'd get to like do some fun stuff like sometimes we'd just like watch movies and analyze them and it was like it was a really cool experience because even at that age, you get to like uh, see film in a different way and it wasn't just like a movie anymore. It was more of like an art form. I don't know of any other high school program really around that's like what we do in terms of um, the diverse application of what we do. I, mean, I have some students that are just interested in the news. I have some students that are just interested in film and we're able to you know, accommodate those uh, students with uh, you know, the things they're interested in, given projects that are challenging. And uh, through all those things, I think the program will maybe step away from the, you know, the whole broadcast emphasis that it has now and um, concentrate more on digital media production. The program has almost completely transformed. Uh, when we first got here, there was pretty much nothing in this studio we're filming now uh, and it's been transformed into a pretty presentable studio. Uh, we didn't have a green screen that was actually a green screen. We used to have like a sheet that was bought from Target that was just like stapled onto a bunch of wood and that's how we uh, keyed things before. We've had a major shift in like the equipment that we've used. We've gotten all new laptops, we've gotten all new cameras, we've gotten a whole new news set. So things have definitely upgraded in like that short period of time and it feels really good to see that because I feel like we're really moving forward with uh, technology. When we first went into Beacon it was only the second year but I wish it would have been like around longer so that we would have had more opportunities that the people have now. Yeah, I think Beacon is growing and I, like I'm excited for the program, but it also kind of sucks because I'm leaving now as Beacon is sort of hitting like 
this higher level. So it's uh, you know slowly but surely we're we're getting to where I think a lot of kids will leave this program and they'll get into a college program and the shift will be almost seamless in terms of the equipment, um, the studio space um, that they have available to them. I thought that being in the program like this during high school was a lot different because it was more advanced, wouldn't you say? It was like more advanced. Mm -hmm. So like, because it was kind of almost college level in a way. Yeah, so it kind of gave you a step up, step ahead of what you would probably do in a high school, like film class instead of like the college aspect of it because I knew a lot more than other people did because I talked to people that went into film in college and they were learning that stuff as we were learning that stuff. So it was kind of like, you're just a step ahead, which is pretty cool. One of my college classes, our professor was giving a lesson on how to use a camera and it was basically one of the same cameras we used in Beacon. So while he was giving that lesson, I was remembering how I gave that lesson to the freshmen when I was a senior and I was a teacher's like assistant page and I gave that lesson to the freshmen. So it was kind of like, wow, like we're actually a lot ahead than we thought. Our uh, one of the big goals that I had when I started teaching in the program was to get the students out of the four walls of the high school um, because it gets kind of boring if you're just kind of doing the same stories and you have the same shooting backgrounds and the same things like that. So one of the emphasis um, for me was to get kids out of the building uh, covering events to get into the community and really get their hands on the equipment so they can figure out if this is what I want to do for a career for the rest of my life. There's a big difference from like the first year to like the last year. I agree. Because we had a lot of teachers so our first year was a lot harder than like any other years. Every teacher you had did like different things so it kind of came together so you knew every different part. Mm -hmm. I had Mr. Erickson my senior year and he had us do a lot more projects so we did like a Twilight Zone episode, we had a short film, uh, we did like the children's show, it, it was a lot more different things and then we also did like the broadcast stuff. We've done a few PSAs, we've done a lot of news broadcasts, we did a music video at the end of freshman year which was really fun, that's kind of the make or break it really. But um, the PSAs have been really fun because that's where you really kind of push, like you're really pushing the boundaries with uh, getting more emotional and getting more serious with the videos that you're making instead of just making it all like a fun, silly thing. Like this is a very serious thing and those projects have been very fun to get that seriousness out. So I learned a lot about like dealing with uh, clients um, because Beacon gave me like the first exposure to clients where uh, like I was kind of required to do that as a project and then since then I've done a lot of stuff with clients on my own based on like the things I learned from that project. I have an internship with the Chicago Bandits. I film out there all summer and that's been really intense, lugging all this equipment up and down like the flights of stairs and on top of the dugout and filming those games over summer has been a really great experience. Just getting out there and seeing what the um, production's really like, like in the real world, that's been really cool. I've been very glad to get that through Beacon. Um, with, a lot of, with a lot of other classes, like you just do what's in the class, but Beacon, it gives you this like freedom that you can do what you want with things. This one's a lot more chill, which is kind of hard to believe because people walk in and they're really intimidated, but this one is a lot more creative in the same aspect. Um, it's not necessarily free range, but you've got a lot more like mental space in all, in all honesty. Like you're not focused on a math problem, you're not focused on reading a book, you're like you're all over the place, but that's really awesome. It's a kind of like a mental break, but it's more of a creativity outlet as well. I wish the Academy was always pushing to be better. You get out of Beacon what you put into it. I think that's what makes it so special and that's why I like it. Um, a lot of people, yeah, like a lot of people have this like idea that the Academy is just sort of like a blow off class or something. And sure, maybe for some people it is a blow off class and they don't take it as seriously as they should or as they could, but you really can get great things out of Beacon if you put great things into it. I like that it's fun. I mean, you need a little fun class every once in a while. 
all my other classes are so stressful and, and intense, but this one's fun. And it's like a big family, as cheesy as it absolutely sounds, but it really is. It, it's, it's really nice. I think the program here will expand. Um, you know, right now we're at about 250 students. We probably can accommodate a little bit more, especially with how mobile classrooms can be with editing equipment. Um, and as the program grows, we're able to acquire more equipment and things like that. Um, but like I said, I, I don't think it'll be very, you know, I don't think it'll be uncommon within the next 10 years to see what we've been doing here the last five or six start to spread to other high schools and other places. Um, just because it's, we're, we're so uh, saturated with it every day in our lives and, you know, smartphones and uh, how fast information is, is picked up. Um, there's going to be a greater need for people to produce that content. And I think, um, I think more people are going to start doing it earlier. And um, I, think it's a, I think it's a great thing for a kid that's between the ages of 14 and 18 to pick up on those things now um, as opposed to when you're in college and really have no idea of what's going on out there. So I think the program will get bigger. Like coming into Beacon, I always had this like grand idea that like, like filmmaking is like this one person thing. Like you look at like the Hollywood industry and you see people like, uh, like Steven Spielberg and Quentin Tarantino and like their names are like plastered all over the place and like you're like, hey, I want to be that guy. Like he's this one guy and he's making this movie. And, but really you learn that it's such a collaborative thing and you have to be able to communicate your ideas with other people. You have to be able to arrange things with other people. And I, w I don't know if I would have understood that without Beacon at this point in my life.